area. Some unit conversions are to be remembered in order to solve some of the sums of area. That 1 meter square is equal to 10,000 centimeter square. Whereas 1 hectare is equal to 10,000 meter square. One by one all the shapes that is cuboid where the length, breadth and height are represented by L, B and H. Then the total length of all the edges will be 4 into L plus B plus H. Also the lateral surface area will be equal to height into perimeter of the base that is H into 2 L plus B that is 2 H into bracket L plus B. Whereas the total surface area will be 2 times of LB plus BH plus HL. For a cube where all the sides are equal, so length is equal to L. The total edges, length of all the edges would be 12 L. Whereas its lateral surface area will be 4 L square. And the total surface area will be 6 L square. Cylinder, if the dimensions are measured, are represented by radius as R and height as H. Then the curved surface area of the cylinder would be 2 pi RH, whereas the total surface area will be equal to 2 pi R into H plus R because that will include the top and the bottom circles also. Cone, if the radius, height and slant height are represented by R, H and L. Then slant height can be found out by using L square is equal to H square plus R square. That means similar to that of a Pythagorean triplet. Curved surface area of the cone will be pi R L whereas the total surface area of the cone would be pi R into bracket L plus R because along with the curved surface area it will include the surface area of the bottom which is circle in the shape. For a sphere or a hemisphere, if the radius is represented by R, then the surface area of the sphere, now we call it as total surface area, curved surface area, anything would be same for a sphere and that is 4 pi R square. But if it is lateral surface area of the hemisphere, then that will be half of the sphere that is 2 pi R square. But if it is a total surface area of a hemisphere, that means there will be an upper lead which will be in circle in shape, so that will be 3 pi r square. Volume. Some unit conversions again for volume are to be remembered. That is 1 meter cube is equal to 10 lakh centimeter cube. Whereas 1 meter cube when converted into liters will be equal to 1000 liter. The reverse way that will be 1 liter is equal to 1 upon 1000 meter cube. And 1 liter is equal to 10,000 centimeter sorry 1000 centimeter cube. The reverse way, 1 centimeter cube will be equal to 1 upon 1000 part of the liter. For a cuboid, if length, breadth and height as usual by represented by L, B and H, then the volume would be L into B into H. Whereas for a cube, the length if represented by L, then its volume is going to be L cube. For a cylinder, the radius and height represented by R and H then its volume will be pi r square h. But for a cone where the radius and height are represented by r and h, that will be one third the volume of the cylinder. So volume of the cone will be one third pi r square h. For a sphere or a hemisphere, if the radius is represented by r, then volume of the sphere will be four third r pi r cube. Whereas that of the hemisphere will be obviously half of that, will be two-third pi r cube.